Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon, coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, if I remember correct, we ended the last episode with the death of Conrad at the Imperatoris, because the Imperials decided to fire upon their own keep, hitting the main tower and leading to the death of several groups of Imperials, Alliance, Resistance Fighters, Skulls, and more importantly, the death of Conrad. Luckily, our other people are still safe. Alphano, Lise, Nago all survived the attack and are doing perfectly fine. I knew we'd lose people, but doing this but him? I'm sure the old bear would outlast us all. It's all up to us to carry on a sit. It's up to me. I did what I could for those I found along the way, but some were beyond help. Hiding, you have given our command over commander camps and remains for safekeeping. Later, I have no idea when rites must need to be performed. For now, however, we must carry on, we must press forward, we must not give in to despair. All alliance and resistance units have been withdrawn from Speculum Imperatoris. It is time we spoke with General Alden. Why is this person still here? They were here last episode. 30 whole minutes standing there with nothing to do. Good man. Yep, and what up? Lost a lot of men inside the tower. Cows are still mounting among those who survived. These deaths weigh heavy on my soul. Commander Kent's most of all. He was a wise leader. He was a patriot. Above all else, he was a good man who will be surely missed. One of many lost this day. I ask for a moment's silence to pray for the souls of the departed. We have suffered a grievous defeat, but we cannot and will not renounce this cause. The die has been cast. Hold tight to this grief, this anger, and let it drive you forward. Let it be your strength and your shield when you next face the enemy. Yes, give in to your anger. It will carry us far, General. Of that I have no doubt. Here we have taken another step towards Alamigo. However, we must first address the question of how to deal with Castrum Abania's cannon. Imperials are willing to employ the weapon without thought for their own soldiers' safety. We must, uh, we may struggle to approach them. If frontal assault is out of the question, we'd lose countless men before we even reach the walls. Would we? Recall that the Imperials could have obliterated forces had they kept firing, but neglected to do so. They had no strict reason to cease fire, which begs the question, why did they? We suspect they were unable to fire the cannon again, may have due to a malfunction. Well, one of our officers found this conscience after the first barrage, or the heretofore unto a no resistant faction chose that moment to disable it. There are many possibilities, but the fact remains that they stopped when they log when logic dictated they continue. Then I'll just have to go and see for myself if the cannon is still operational. Are you mad? Conrad put you in charge of the resistance. We can't risk losing another commander so soon. I know how you feel, Nago, I do, but I need you to understand. It wasn't long after Papalima and I arrived in Rolf's Reach that Conrad first asked me to join the resistance. Then he kept on asking. Every time I said no, I told myself it was because of the silence, but even then, I knew deep down that I, it was an excuse. That I was still afraid of following my heart, because I couldn't be sure if it was for me or for Ida. Then I met someone on the other side of the world who had struggled with the same worries, and we traveled and fought together, and I saw him grow and become the leader that the people needed him to be. And now it's my turn to do the same. There's not a lot of us left, and the ones that are, many are still wounded. We have to make do with what we got, and I'm the best qualified. It's as simple as that. But don't worry, Nago. I'll come back, I promise. I acknowledge Commander Hex's right to carry out this mission. I see no reason why she should be alone. I mean, would you go with her? I suppose someone's got to keep her out of harm's way. Would have done it even even if you hadn't asked her. Then it's settled. We will await your return. Edo. When did Lise become the leader of the resistance? That—that that is, hmm, I suppose we have to thank he and to thank for this too. 
<laughs> I'd say I'm an August concerned. If they were losing our leader so soon after losing Conrad, the assistance might never recover. Conrad confided me that he was considering naming her as a successor, so it didn't come as a complete shock. I mean, I was still surprised, but I've never once doubted his judgment. None of us have. Tal Lise was the best choice, then she is. Sorry to drag you into deciding. It may not be the decision Conrad would have made, but I'm not Conrad. I never will be. I don't know what kind of leader he was hoping for, but right now, all I can do is be myself. Don't mind, I'd rather not wait around and have people try to talk me out of it. Let's get moving. I know a good vantage point overlooking Castrum. Uh, Neon Crump's Hope. The ship stranded on the rocks east of here. It shouldn't take us long to get there. Oh, but there might be some ancient golems guarding it? Or that it might be a wide seal. Either way, it's worth the risk. Please, Commander, I pray you proceed with all due caution. Do not hesitate to call upon us if needed. To reach the ship, we've got to scale the cliff face. I'll get some climbing gear and meet you there, alright? All I hear is, and I quote, <clears throat> Hien is a bad influence on Lise. <laughs> a real bad influence. I, I, I understand why. It, it, ha it makes sense. The scabbard. And that, that, that looks actually kind of cool. Nito. Did they say there was a ship stranded at? Oh, that's a big boy. Well, if I do this, 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 and this, probably gonna die. Bye, friend. You were a good challenge, but you still got your ass kicked. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. I see you've met the golems. Looks like the old stories were true, eh? In a way, I'm glad. Alright then, time to climb. I can climb. I mean, I guess cat light reflexes means I can run up walls. Uh, that's the ship. Ooh, that took a bit more out of me than I expected. Yeah, there she is. Uh, named Kerms Hope, the Ark that once the one man made to save countless others from the flood during the Sixth Umbro era. Does Captain think there has always been people who cared this much about their fellow man, who accomplished such great feats that people couldn't help thinking that they made uh, must be made up? Proof's right here, isn't it? I don't just mean the ship, you know. I mean you. Long before anyone started calling you a hero, you were the, there for those who were in need. You did things for people when you didn't have to. Sometimes even when they didn't want you to. It can't be easy staying true to yourself, but we're all better for it, me included. Never be a leader like Conrad or Hien or my father. I can't be a friend of y'all, and I can fight by your side. I could be me, then that just has to be enough, eh? Pretty much. Try to think back on it, if we'd been standing in different places, or if the shell had struck the tower differently, it would have been me instead of Conrad. Or maybe both of us. What kind of monster murders their own? Uh, is that the smoke from Castro Mabania? Well, it's coming from the cannon. Can't tell what happened from here, but I can tell that, that it won't be giving us any trouble in the immediate future. It's our chance I am to avenge Conrad and all the others who died in the tower, friend and foe. Take Castro Mabania and bring the Ulcod. Oh, Bastards gave us the order to fire justice. Won't be easy after the losses we took, but I know everyone's champing at the bits straight back. With the right plan, I'm certain we can do it. You have to tell the others, come on.
Rockies are down than up, eh? They're not necessarily safer. Anyway, no time to rest. We need to convince the others to strike now before the Imperials have time to fix their cannon. There's no time to lose, Idine. General Alden needs to know what we saw. I actually want to see the ship more. Why can't I know more about that ship? I'm kind of interested because I think I forgot about that ship and now I want to know more. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? It's an addictive thing. Pretty accurate. It's a weird ass joke though. Pale Morning. What a name. What a name. Why do you sound sport to say? Well, did you learn anything about you? Yes. I'd like to have made it back at one piece. I mean, I always am, but it's a little different now, isn't it? As long as Pierre's whole cast from Bobani, we will not be able to march on Alamigo. You are returned. I only hope you bring good news. We scout the cliffs of Neon you know, Crimp's Hope, and we spied smoke rising from Castro Mabani and its main cannon. Like Marshal Terrapin's right, they didn't fire again because they couldn't. The cannon seems to have been disabled somehow. Then we must attack Castro Mabani at, at once. Mm, could be still be a trick, but if it isn't, we may not get a better opportunity. Bluntly, General, if it is a trick, it is utterly baffling strategy. Had the Imperials wished to wipe us out, they could simply have kept firing. Be that as it may, we need not risk everything to seize it. I say we dispatch a small contingent to infiltrate the castrum and secure control of the weapon. If the enemy is preoccupied with repairs, we may be able to take them unawares. If, on the other hand, it is indeed a trick, our token force will prove an elusive target, and we will at least know the cannon is operational. Either way, it seems well worth the risk, but how are we to infiltrate the castrum? In a pace soon of such a day as this, men and women under my command have labored long to cultivate a network of informants through Girabania, including uh, Radita. Radita is home to many who hold menial position, positions at Castrum Mabania and other nearby installations. With the aid of our allies there, I believe we can secure a route into the fortress. Resistance will handle this. You may have recruited these informants, but they'll be happy in working with fellow Alamigans. And at the end of the day, it's our land, our responsibility. Let's do what's right by comrade. If you're glad to accompany it, General, as would Alizé and Idaheen, I am sure. Yep, silence, take this job. Well then, if you're in agreement, I see no reason to refuse you. We will make ready to march on Castrum of Bania. Go and may Rogar watch over and keep you. Thanks nice for standing by me. I, together we will make Conrad proud. Eh, I knew the Alliance had spies in Garibani, but in Redadia. Impressive. I expect the parent pick contingent of Alamegan Brigade's finest would be, have been equally, if not more, qualified, but what do I know? If I was just freaking on your behalf, it would seem my sister forthright manner is rubbing off on me. Best, my decision to volunteer was not only motivated by, uh, by concern for Lace, nor less Alamigo. Castro Mabani is the largest superior facility in the peaks you see, and so the likelihood that Kral is being held captive there is quite high. Dealing with that cannon remains our main objective, of course. But if there is even a chance that Kral might be rescued in the process, I would never forgive myself if I did not make it, or if I did not take it. So, to review, we are to travel to Redadia, where we will meet with a contact recruited by Marshal Terrapin's agents. Took the liberty of reviewing intelligence reports while our Idehine and Lise were away, so the settlement is not wholly unfamiliar to me. As the Vice Marshal indicated, the vast majority of the populace is employed as menial labor in either Specula Imperatoris or Castra Mabania. Perhaps as a result of this, the Resistance has long struggled to make inroads there. Ah, you have the right of it. They got a better deal than most Alamegans. Feeding off what scraps the Imperials gave them. Damn if I know how Marshal Terrapin's agents got one of them to turn his coat. I understand your disdain, I do, but I also understand the desire to look after their families by any means necessary. Our contact is a Regadan woman. She will ask us a question after we answer with courage. She will know us as friends. Courage, right. But the other Squash and Nago will need them soon. It's me, my friends, and be ready for anything. Oh, I gotta run all the way back up there? Oh no, I forgot about this. Gotta run all the way back there to head into the facility and then do more things. Or in my words, make more coffee. 
Oh, half round. Oh. Hopefully, it starts waking me up soon. I haven't drank the whole cup yet. I'm probably like eh, maybe quarter, half, half. Oh god, damn it! I can't go that way. I actually just remembered that. Although I've been trying to wait to see if like Red and everybody gets on. I haven't seen Red for a couple days. Last time, actually no, I seen him yesterday. Last night actually, to be more accurate. But he was playing squad and I didn't want to disrupt his uh, play time. Although I did have fun playing Hoy again. I'm in the weirdest like game I've ever played. As Yugoslavia. It's, it's literally, I'm not lying, it is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Italy declared war on me. Everybody joined an alliance with Britain. And now we're all trying to kill Japan because we just killed the Soviets. I know you're out there. Keep an eye out, would you? Something doesn't feel right. If there were a magic army nearby, surely you would have heard them by now. See, what did I tell you? Let's continue on speculating and Puri Taurus. Although, I think my new goal for that game is going to be like... Like... Do you wish to enter speculating and Puri Taurus? Yes, I do. Um, I think my new goal is going to be like... F slowly become the leader. And then kick people out of the faction to keep declaring war on them. Because that's the point I've reached. Killed the Russians. Some re the other thing I haven't learned yet is why China's in the faction. That's the big one I haven't figured out yet. Like, all the Chinese, like, faction people, like, left their faction to join our faction to fight China. It is like the weirdest game I've ever played in there. And the only thing I could do to stop like a major conflict from happening is I had to stop the game from allowing um... Who was it? I, I had to stop Germany from going fascist so I made them go German Empire. So you can imagine how I feel with like all of Europe united to fight smaller countries. It's, it's so broken. Hey, nothing to it. Ooh, that would have been an unceremonious ending to our tale. Of course, there were still soldiers looking about. Fortunately, they were no match for Lee's. Come, but Adi is not, not much further. Of course, in light of our recent encounter, it would seem prudent to uh, proceed with caution and remain vigilant for Imperial forces. Although, I do, I do really like um, Yugoslavia in the game now. I feel like they made it a lot more playable. Because you can just like, like, I like the idea of being able to have all of Yugoslavia on your side after like releasing everybody and then re-annexing them. It's, it's, I 100% agree with the way they switched that because now it makes it like within reason. Because now you can actually fight without any of the debuffs and like you actually stand a chance. In comparison to the way it was before, which was stay united. Suffer rebellions. Good luck. Like, I like the idea of releasing everybody and then re-annexing them, and then you just continue the fight. I mean, it, it will have a major delay in the fact that you can't actually, um, build anything really up. But after I did all that, and then Italy tried to declare war on me, I kicked Italy's ass. But then I also joined the Alliance, so everybody else kicked their ass for me, too. I thought they said it was a village. It looks more like a work camp. I love work camps. An area soldier inside may have to have recalled the castro Mabania. Looks like it's safe to enter. I don't see any perils. Hmm. I don't see any smoke above uh, castro Mabania anymore. I think they fixed the cannon already. Alphonse said we were looking for a regaining woman, right? And that we should answer a question with courage. I suppose we'll have to strike a conversation with every one of them until we find our contact. 
Let me know if you find her and I'll do the same. I think that originally when I played this, I, I came in here and I was like, where the hell is this person at? I'm like, they usually have a marker above their head, right? I guess we can talk to all our friends. Eh, she has to be around here somewhere. There's at least. Where the hell's Alpha now at? Oh, there's Alpha now. And there's a freaking sun gob. Dob. So, as I was saying, about this woman. Okay, what's well, she on her face? She looks like. Blah, 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 blah. Any luck? No, me neither. Well, I mean, they always show you the light at the end of the tunnel, so you look for this. I ain't seen you around before. It takes a certain kind of woman to walk into a place like this uninvited. I will go with the wild rose blooms. I'm with courage, I suppose. Times are tough, but so am I. Courage, you say? Well, that's in short supply these days. Better keep your head down and go along to survive. Call me a coward, too, if you like, because I'll not speak on it anymore. At least not here. Outside Redaria, behind those barricades over yonder, on the other hand. Hey, was that who I think it was? Yes. Oh, that's a relief. Or a trap. Either way, I'll find out for no analyze. We'll meet you there. The fact that she's so blunt in knowing that it could possibly be a trap, and the fact that she doesn't question it, concerns me. Or it gives me a headache. Whatever comes first. I followed, were you? Good. Those are my friends. They have friends. That all of you, is it? Let's get to it then. Name yourselves. You got the sounds of Dawn, Dawn, um, friends of Marshall Terrapin. Name Stock, Stock Wode. Oh my god, one of the Stocks. Rest you know, or we wouldn't be here. It's about speculating for Taurus in a cannon, isn't it? Just so, can you tell us what happened? I overheard soldiers talking while working in the mess. The Shirelli pipeline fueling cannon was destroyed by an unidentified male insurgent, they said. One man single-handedly disabled a cannon, that big is relief. Nevertheless, that's what they said. It took a while, but they finally put the fires out, and the engineers have been working day and night to repair it. Wish I could tell you more, but the incident has everyone jumping at shadows, and afraid to say much more. To make matters worse, the Alamegan and help have been sent home indefinitely. So the cannon could already be fully operational. We need to sneak inside Cash from Vanya and ensure the cannon is no longer a threat to our troops. Can you help us? Aye, that much I can do. I've pieced together a map of the interior over the years, and I know for a fact that there are multiple points of entry. Impressive. We'll split along into several rooms that may prove our odds of reaching uh, the fire control center. Maybe a few in number, but I have faith that we can see this through. It's brave to men, women like her that we have a chance to win this war. Could see that even in deep occupied territory, there are still those who defy their oppressors. Tell you some of the resistance folks can't see the forest for the trees. Ambushing the occasional Imperial Patrol won't change a damn thing. Infiltrating the cash rooms and learning secrets, on the other hand. Ooh. Good. We have that for which we came. All that remains is to make our preparations. I mean, you and your ever-dependable allies went to the cash room with my sister, and by the way, the ventilation ducts lead to the hangars. Uh, from there, we proceed to weapons research and unleash bloody mayhem. At the same time, Alize and I will create a diversion um, elsewhere, and in the ensuing confusion, Lisa and her unit will attempt to reach the fire control center undetected. All goes to plan, our three parties will subsequently converge on this location, and together, we will secure the cannon before finally notifying the Alliance that they are clear to attack. Sounds simple enough. I'll go and brief Nago on the details. The rest of you come with me, we'll need to deal with the Magitech's patrols before you can infiltrate the cash room. All I hear is look for enemies and kill them. So, 
big ass one. He's kill. Easy life. All gone. What's the point of me stepping two more feet to do this again? Why not just have him spawn here? friend another patrol oh no that looks like alpha no no quickly and quietly so they not to raise the alarm I hope there's hoping there's not too many uh for us to handle almost there friends your point of entry is just around the bend up ahead the last patrol should be there any moment once you dealt with them, we'll be clear to advance, assuming they keep to their usual schedule. Have you prepared to stand watch for a moment after, just in case? Anybody here? Oh no, wow, no players. No, the one time I was here, there was a couple players waiting. Must be fun. Big ass, no luck. By Roger, I knew you were a lot were good, but I never expected you to defeat them so swiftly. I need as far as worry I know, and I should like to think we have learned something from our time in our company. Now, where is the entrance to the ducks? Right behind you. Back the branches, so you should have no trouble reaching the hangars or any number of places. I just want to thank you again for your valuable assistance. As discussed, Eidheen, we shall divide into two groups, provide via separate routes, and to the cash room. Remember that our objective is to cause as much chaos as possible to draw the Imperials away from Lee Center men. If there's nothing else, I'll return the resistance forces to show them to their entrance. A rogue will guide you to victory. This is your last chance to make your preparations, Idine. When you and yours are ready, we shall begin. No problem. Oh, But unfortunately, we do have to start getting ready to end the episode, so I'm going to talk to Alpha now. The line scouting also deal with the cannon. Failure is not an option. It won't be long before someone realizes their armor is missing. We have to hurry. But, as I was saying, guys, unfortunately, you do have to end the episode at some point, And this will be the end of the episode for this one. Um, probably come back, talk for like 10 seconds, and then me, or probably, probably less than a minute, honestly. And then immediately get ready to enter this new dungeon. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot done. We lost friends on the way, but luckily we realized with Astinian's help, even though our character doesn't know, then he destroyed that damn cannon, so it can't really do much. So uh, with that, guys, all I got to say is this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, ladies and gents, more Final Fantasy fourteen, and we'll start the dungeon to secure the cannon and hopefully get us one step closer to freeing Alamigo. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.